Hello everybody. Nice to see you here today. I'm Lynn Parker and this is uh, my video and I'm going to talk to you today about uh, creating a accordion book and this one comes in an Altoid tin. So it was uh, a lot of fun to make and uh, I was I'm pleased with the way it turned out. So. so first I'm going to talk a little bit about the supplies that I used. And uh, first of all, I was able to get a kit from Artsy, and in it, it's an accordion book, and in it I came with a uh, tin, no. and it also came with a little book. What's great about this book is it has uh, canvas um, boards, which makes it extremely versatile as far as what you could do with the finish, and also really up the ante as far as the quality of the finished product. So I was pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, um, I've been trying to get some more of them and uh, they seem to be sold out. So perhaps Artsy will be bringing them back. I'm gonna keep my eye open for that. I also used uh, these two Distress Inks um, by Tim Holtz. And uh, one is called Broken China, which is one of my favorite blues. And then this one is called Walnut Stain. And um, the other thing that you'll see on here is that I use some ribbon. This ribbon, I just used a small portion of it, cut these little rhinestones off. I picked this up at the local uh, Michaels, and I think I got them in a dollar bin, but it does say $1.50 on here, so I'm not, I couldn't swear to that. Anyway, very pretty, and there's a lot on here for the price. So, back we go to the tin. Let me talk a little bit about the outside of the tin. I used some papers. I think they were Tim Holtz papers from one of his uh, paper pads, but um, I didn't dig that up to double check. Um, and I also, if you look along the edge, I also used papers here that I trimmed and also from Tim Holtz. It would have been easy to use washi tape here, but um, I had the papers and I kind of wanted to use them. So that's what I decided to do. I used a tiny bit of the two inks, just did a little brush along the side, and I think if I hold this up, you can see more or less the staining with, uh, use one of the sponge daubers. And um, I put some gears, and there is the little metal bar that says, The Journey Awakens the Soul, also one of Tim Holtz's pieces. I use quite a bit of his stuff, the quality is so, so perfect on it. And uh, I added the blue rhinesteins to this uh, gear that I had kicking around. I have quite a little stash of bits and pieces, so that's where the rhinestones came from. So I was pretty happy with how the outside turned out. I didn't, now this is actually something I took with me on a holiday as a, a project. And I packed glue and a tiny pair of scissors with a sharp, sharp bit on, or end on them, tooth. And um, that was it. I picked up magazines and stuff along the way. So I like to take something with me, doesn't matter where we go. And this was perfect. I'm going to try and do another one of these because it just was easy peasy. All right, and if you open up the box, you'll also notice on the inside, I, I did the pattern again, not that evenly as you can see here, but I used chalk paint uh, brush, not chalk paint brush. I used a chalk pen and just put in some dots just to finish it. And uh, this is what it looks like inside the tin. On the bottom of the tin, I also use the same finish. And I realized later, actually while I'm doing this video, that I'm going to write something here, probably. My name and the date and that sort of stuff. Okay, so here's our book. I was able to use a stencil and some stencil and some molding paste on the top. I used a stencil uh, from Stencil Girls, I believe, and uh, put it on both sides. And then used again a little bit of the walnut stain and some of the china blue. Rub those in and wipe them off and sort of thing to get that kind of a old and kind of worn look. And uh, Curiosity Collector also came from Tim Moult's Rub-Ons. And um, they weren't supposed to be used together, but I thought the wording was perfect. So I used them together. So be I'm just going to have a look at the inside of this. Now what was interesting is when I started this, I thought this was the front of the book, but turns out I think I did the back of the book, which was alright because I just did the other side as well. And I'm just going to have a show you a little bit of the pages that I used. These pages uh, are all done with bits and pieces from magazines and uh, an old uh, gallery book that I found. and. Um, What's interesting is this is not the focal points on the pages. So when you're flipping through a magazine, of course, the focal point jumps out and 
you know, looks you in the eye. And but on those focal on those pages, there's lots going on usually in the background, and that's where these things came from. So the little picture, the fountain, this part of this uh, apartment building all came from backgrounds. So the little button here came from uh, a paper, the same paper from Tim Holtz that the um, measuring tapes that are around the side of the tin came from. And there's the end of a guitar. Then we have on this page, you can see I cut out a pigeon. It didn't have a top and uh, or a head, I'm sorry, and I just really like the way he strutted, so I used him. You can also see there's some people walking. They went in uh, quite early on and a uh, nice bottle of champagne. And this was a group of four women from a 40s, 50s picture that they were in a bathing suit contest uh, so I pageant of some sort so I just cut them out one at a time. I find the actual cutting to be quite uh, meditative for me. I enjoy cutting out the small things. I can't knit. I uh, do more holes than knit and I'm not a great sewer but this so cutting out tiny things is really really calming for me so I quite enjoy it. And this was a uh, face I picked out and there were actually words written across here. So I cut out the words and then just decided to put it in like that and do some doodling. So there's quite a bit of doodling on most of these pages, as you can see. And uh, um, it was just layer and layer and layer of work. This little girl just went on the other day. And um, as you can see, so, too, sometimes it lifts a little. And I just find that all part of the charm of the of the piece and I really like the contrast of these two characters here so so that's one side and then if we just close the book and flip it and we can move on to this side now by this page you can see where I was and you probably can't believe that we would be in New York and I would be taking time to sit at home and do a craft but uh, we've been there a few times so I'm over the initial buzz and can't sit still kind of thing and we get pretty tired <laughs> so we'll come back and sit in the middle of the day for a little bit or sometimes if we've seen a show we'll come back early and uh, um, and our feet are sore and so I can just pull this stuff out and sit on sit down and do a little bit of putzing with this so that's what I did this is another page. See the puppy down here? And these were a couple of lights that were in the back of an advertisement, I think. Love her. And on this page, you can see that, uh, yeah, just some more. Now, I took the pattern in here and kind of repeated it in the doodling on this side. And also, if you notice, these arches go on both sides of this lady here. Just a second on, on the side of the statue. Can you see that? So, and I took my ink pen, my black ink pen, and just emphasized some of the archways to give it a little more depth and definition. And uh, then it ends with the, this. Now this also made me really think of uh, the subway system in, in New York City because they do a tremendous amount of tile work. And um, I don't know where I found this piece. I can't remember anymore. But I just loved it and it sort of triggers that in me. So, so I'm going to stretch this out so you can see the whole thing. Actually, maybe I'll start with the other side again. And we'll just stretch it out so you can have a look at my entire piece. And then we'll close her up and do the same thing on the other side. And there it is. Lots of fun to do. Had a great deal of fun with this. Thanks so much for, you know, coming with me on this journey today. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, please join me on uh, my blog. It's called Time of My Life and Life is with a Y. And, uh, yeah, there's some other crafts on there, a couple of places we've gone for trips, all kinds of little things. So, hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day today. Take care. Bye-bye.